All right, welcome to Oozaloo Garage today. Today, today we're gonna be cleaning the wheels on this Vulcan here. We're gonna be using nano skin right here, non ansys wheel and tire cleaner. This is gonna be like that PN PNS brake uh, buster. I think here. It's about the same color and everything. We'll try it out first time using it. I got this on Amazon a while ago, and plus two, I'll have the link below for Amazon if you want to check it out. It's twenty two dollars for a gallon, and what you do is you can mix it up right here. My IK foamer. I have 30 about a little over 35 ounces mixed up and I have six ounces of the product with about 29 ounces of water so it'll be something like a five to one mix right here and that's what we do and it'll be the same mixture too if you ever use that uh, break up uh, buster from PNS but check it out found some dirty wheels a little bit we'll check them out we'll do them we're doing a full detail on this vehicle too today all right it's not gonna be perfect we just want it to clean up and you'll have to check out those videos plus two at the end links i'll have some uh, videos on using uh some nano skin products and another uh and the pns brake buster also if you want to check them out all right let's get the clean in all right let's try it out pumped it up now the ak former i have the orange tip inside here for something like a wet foam or you can do the other tip for a dryer foam see what it looks like for the the wet all right let's try it out hopefully it will fall up oh yeah it's okay. get in here real good plus two you're gonna let it dwell for a few minutes get the tires I'm not worried about if I got it out of paint we're gonna be doing the full detail that's pretty good it got in there pretty good all right all right it's already working look at the tires right here Turn the brown right there, guys. Yeah, pretty good. All right, we'll let that sit for a couple minutes and we'll clean it and we'll check it out. It's working. All right, let's get in here and get it cleaned up. Best way to do it is take these wheels off and then really get in here. Let's clean it up that dirt pretty good. here which I'll do grab one for the wheels get in here real good with this caliper again that's the man that's cleaning up nice guys look at that so get in here Great. Um, they have harder 
bristle ones you're just gonna want to watch uh, this one's more like a softer feel to it so this will not scratch your wheels so this is nice you can get in here And they don't last that long too and they're not that expensive and you can pick them up and uh, just throw them away once they're wore out all right you can get all in here a little bit it's something you can get in these little areas and get the wheel nice and clean <laughs> Check out how clean that is. We'll check out the back right there. How bad that is. See if we get a nice angle. Come back. Check that out. Yeah, it looks good. Look how clean that looks. Looks pretty good. That came out nice. Alright, we'll finish washing the rest and we'll check them all out. Sun's not blocking it. Check it out. It's pretty dirty. Alright, we'll just make them look good. We're not gonna get the scuffs out and stuff like that out. Just want to make it look good on a daily driver right here. Get it all detailed up and make this ride look close to new. Just make it look good. Try to get make it look clean. That'd be at the next video. <laughs> Skin, non acid wheel and tire cleaner the AK Fomer. I have a link too for Amazon for the AK Fomer. Also, if you like to pick one up, this is the old version. They have a number two out. I do have the number two, but I still got it in the box. Over the winter, I basically kind of stock up on stuff. Um, yeah, check it out. Good thing I bought a bunch of stuff before I got uh, this, you know, stay home and got laid off. So, I got plenty of products to test out for you guys. All right, check it out. Now, the best way to do it would be to just take the wheels off and clean it up, but I'm just leaving them on there. We're getting it all cleaned up, making it look good. And uh, yeah, it's nice too. It did not, for the rotors, it did not flash. You guys can see it. It's not all rusty. Look how clean that rotor looks. Looks nice. Like I said, the best way to do it would be to really take the wheels off and clean. And we're just getting it all cleaned up. Testing some products out, just making it look nice. Check it out. That one had a lot of tire in it. Now it's if it has tire in the wheel, it's hard to take off. That one was a pain. This one right here came out all right. Wow, this wheel's really hit. Um, most likely, I'm gonna go over this wheel again. A couple spots I missed, but I want to show you guys this right here. Check it out. All right, pretty good product, guys. For the price, you can't beat it. Look how much I used. You know, this was what, 30, about 35 ounces. And we're down to, let's see, 15. I say we're down to about 18 ounces. Looks like, I don't know, I'm guessing. I'm saying about 18 ounces. Not bad. That's pretty good. And, you know, and I basically clean each wheel like two or three times or hit. And that's pretty good. And uh, I'm going to wash the car anyway and get it ready. That's pretty good, though. I mean, if you got, you maintain your wheels. Man, this scale will last you probably a year. You know, that's pretty that's pretty decent. And then uh, let me know too if you guys want me to do the same thing with the 
Craig Buster from PNS, and we'll put it in this iPhone corner uh, Canon, Canon Falmer, I mean, <laughs> and uh, we'll try it out. I can always save this and put it into a an old jug in that new market. That's pretty good. All right, guys, thank you. Plus two, first time here we do car show videos and videos like this and a little bit of auto repair stuff like that and then check out the end links you guys have going if you guys use this product and any other wheel cleaners and tire cleaner let us know later